Hey folks, Luxinda Swirl here. Welcome to my Other Obsessions channel. We are out at the HTV Ron Auto Press because I'm going to test a couple things. Actually, we're gonna do three shirts. I'm going to do a comparison test with two different dark fabric transfer papers that will let us transfer a graphic onto a black all cotton t-shirt. So that's why the press is heating up now. Here's what we're going to compare. I have HTV Ronce Dark Fabrics Transfer Paper and I have a sub, also the Koala People. I didn't realize it, but they're both the same company or they're under the same company umbrella. So this is a sub slash Koala. They're dark t-shirt transfer paper. And I already see an interesting difference, which is the heat setting and press time for these two things. I would think they'd be similar, but they're definitely not. Both include lots of instructions, so there's lots of information, but this one wants you to heat the heat press from anywhere between 329 to 365 degrees Fahrenheit and press for 20 to 25 seconds. Meanwhile, the HTV Rant transfer paper says 320 to 338 degrees Fahrenheit, so considerably lower, although there is an overlap. So this is at the very high end of HTV Rant's range, which is actually up to 338. So this is two degrees more, 340. And it's sort of in the middle of the A sub paper. And HTV Rant has a lower heat they also say only press for 8 to 12 seconds versus a subs 20 to 25 seconds so considerably different I'm gonna change it to 25 which is perfect for the a sub but I will have to manually lift the press up early when I do the HTV Ront version so we'll start with the HTV Ront one to uh, test these I'm using exactly the same graphic I printed it out on, on one sheet of each one of these transfer papers we have sort of a, uh, a psychedelic smiley face sort of thing lots of color this was printed on my Canon PIXMA inkjet printer, regular inkjet inks with a high quality setting on matte photo paper was what I chose. They look the same obviously, but on the back, you can see it's different. I have the HTV Rant one here, and this has the A-Sub logo on the back. So be able to keep track of which is which. And I have exactly the same two cotton black t-shirts, all cotton. This is the Gildan brand. I picked these up at Walmart in their craft section. Okay, so this is heated up to 340. It's ready to go. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna put my first shirt in here and press it for about five, 10 seconds just to get the moisture and all the wrinkles out. Okay. Just let it go for about between five and 10 seconds. Okay. So it's nice and flat and pressed and should be free of moisture. So I'm gonna put my smiley face on. This is the HTV Rond. You have to be relatively gentle. You don't wanna stretch the material. Put it right down in the middle. I am eyeballing it. That looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it'll do. <laughs> it's gonna to have to do. Piece of parchment paper over the entire thing and I'm gonna press it they said a maximum of 12 seconds. Here we go. That was actually 13 seconds, but it should be okay, I hope. And there it is, it's on there. It's not exactly perfectly centered, <laughs> but it's close enough. Okay, I'm gonna move on and we're gonna do the same thing. I'll try and get it more in the center with the second t-shirt. Press that for about 10, between five and 10 seconds. Do the same thing, peel this gently off the backing paper. This feels different, this feels thicker. This is the, this is the A-sub. Now this one goes for 20 to 25 seconds, so I'm going to do the whole 25. And that's nicely on there. Looks good. We'll do, a, we'll do a comparison back in the workroom later. Maybe I'll even model these for you, <laughs> you lucky viewers. <laughs> this is a Gildan White 50-50. So it's 50% polyester, 50% cotton. 
For sublimation, you are supposed to, I have heard from so many people, use 65% polyester or greater. However, I've also heard a lot of people say 50-50 works, so we're gonna try it. I need to put a piece of paper up inside of it to protect the back so the sublimation graphic won't go through to the back. Now I know this changes the setting. Sublimation is completely different. It usually requires much higher heat. Sublimation is 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 second press time. So I am going to change my temperature by pressing the thermometer and raising this to 380. Press it again to lock it in and then press the time cl clock, of, change it to 40 degrees. And change it to 40 seconds press time and the clock again to lock it in. While that's heating up, I will show you it's the same graphic, but because it's printed on sublimation paper from Hippo, H-I-I-P-O-O, -O, and it's uh, printed on my Epson sublimation printer. It's a SureColor F170, I believe, and it has Epson sublimation ink. You will notice it's a lot duller looking than this graphic that was printed on an inkjet printer. It's because sublimation ink requires the heat when we press it to activate the the ink and make the colors really bright. So it should look a lot better when it's done. Okay, here we go. I need to press it first to get out the wrinkles and the moisture. So a few seconds of that. I'm gonna take my graphic and I'm gonna put it face down. And I am gonna use heat tape this time. Cover it with a double sheet of butcher paper because I don't want the ink to go anywhere except on that first surface of the t-shirt. I don't want it to go up onto the top of the press. I don't want it to go back through the side. So we've got lots of butcher paper going on here. And I'm gonna put it in and press it for the entire 40 seconds. Okay. Let this cool down for a couple of minutes. I will meet you back in the craft room and we'll take a look at everything up close. And we're back. Okay, here we are in the workroom and I wanted to show you all three next to each other. So this was the very first one we did. This is the HTV Rond Dark Transfer. <laughs> it's a little tilted. That's my bad. That has nothing to do with the shirt or the transfer paper or the quality of anything except my inability to put things straight across. Obviously, there are lots of measuring tools that you can use to keep your graphics straight on your t-shirts. I did not bother with that, so that got what I deserved. <laughs> so that looks pretty nice. It feels good. It stretches with the shirt. It is not popping off at the edges. So that one turned out well. And this is the A-sub. Looks, I mean, it, it was the same printer, same inkjet printer. So both papers received the ink just as well. And this one stretches with the fabric. Maybe not, not quite as much as the HTV Ron does, but it does. And it's not lifting at the edges or anything like that. And then finally, this is a little disappointing, this next one. I took the paper off after it cooled and well, the colors got a lot brighter than they were on the piece of paper initially because that's how sublimation works. I didn't get very true blacks, and I think it's because I didn't press it longer than 40 seconds. The last time I did a 50-50 white shirt with sublimation, I got a really good effect with blacks and all the colors I used. It was a different graphic, but as I recall, I actually let it go for 60 seconds. So this is probably user error. I followed the directions on the Hippo package, but I would say going a little... A little longer with the press time would probably not be a bad idea. I still like it. it. It makes it actually look even more retro, like this is actually a vintage shirt from the 60s and 70s. So I don't dislike it at all. <laughs> Does it look as crisp and clear as my inkjet printer? No, not at all. Okay, so there we have our three shirts. Now I'm guessing that you want to know how does this hold up in the wash. I don't have time to do that in this video. So when I'm putting together the video for next Friday, I will 
In the meantime, wash and dry these at least twice each, at least, at least twice each, and then I will show you these three again in this configuration, and I will show a clip from this video so we can compare how they look after two washes. So now I guess I'll do a quickie uh, montage -y thing where I put these on and wiggle in front of the camera because I guess that's fun. <laughs> So sit back and enjoy the show. Thank you very much for joining me today. Stay safe, everyone. Here we go.